educational video in our series. Another viewer question was, how do we address issues of thinning in the crown or the front hairline or recession with our male clients? And the general watchword for thin and fine hair is, the less hair you have, the less hair you should have. I'll say that again, the less hair you have, the less hair you should have. Meaning, if a customer is very thin and fine in through the top and crown, cut their hair short. Encourage or steer them to shorter haircuts. I think we can take a lot of our advice here from a lot of celebrities in popular culture. You see a lot of celebrities with thin, fine hair going particularly short. The answer is we can't fool anybody. If you don't have any hair on the top of your head, taking hair from the side of your head and laying it over the top of your head is not really an effective solution. Same thing goes for the front corners. There's a tendency in our ladies' haircuts, when ladies have high corners or recession points, when we layer the top to drop out a little bit of that front perimeter, creating a little bit of bangs. And the answer is you're only hiding what everyone knows, understands, and recognizes. And that is you're high in the corners. While that might be a viable option in our ladies' haircutting, I don't think it plays out well in men's haircutting. Go back to the watchword, the less hair you have, the less hair you should have. Take that short, sell them some firm hold styling gel, spike it up, and rock and roll, and work with what you're given. I don't think it plays out well to accumulate more hair in an attempt to conceal or hide areas of thinner or less density. The less hair you have, the less hair you should have. I'm Ivan Zut for Jatai Academy. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.